it. Let off the brake. That's it. Let's go. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Okay. This thing got a little bit. You let up on me. <laughs> you guys going to get the first look at the Tesla truck right here. Just like that, I am at the 2024 car show in Cleveland, Ohio at the IX Center. We are about to get in here, have a great time. We're going to see the new cars. We're going to see what's popping, what's going down. Let's get it. And now we're about to see what is really going down the 2024 auto show. Let's go. All right, man, we first got to stop at the GMC Denali. You guys see the HD Denali at about uh, looking at $96 thousand dollars man we gotta jump inside real quick and see what is going on man you can check out the leather with the brown stitch inside loving that crazy up in here you guys can see the screen right there and let me turn around so you can see the back let me go in the back but this thing is massive right here this is the hd denali gmc right here this is crazy guys look at the leather and the stitching right there that is awesome Got the grill real quick. That is one of my favorite parts of GMC right there. You see the big grill right there looking amazing. That is just mean with the chrome and the black all together. I'm loving the blacked out look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So let me know in the comments below if you've seen somebody on YouTube, TikTok, anything like that, and they've been trying to drift with these cars and they end up losing control, drop me some in the comments below if you've ever seen that before. But man, this is a car right here that you definitely gotta know what you're doing when you're behind the wheel because of the horsepower. I am about to blaze you right now, as you can see, this is the Buick Wildcat EV right here, man. It is some futuristic, something awful, man. Check out the windows and the interior inside. I'm gonna zoom up here real quick so you guys can get a little bit of that interior. Man, that is really crazy, man. This is some George Jetson craziness. Loving the wheel game. Man, that is sharp right there. Once again, it is the Wildcat. EV. It is always one car that comes out that throws everybody and this is definitely one that threw me for a loop right here I've Made it over to the biggest spot in the show right here guys You see I am at the Tesla truck right here. They got the DJ up top going down But you guys are gonna get the first look at the Tesla truck right here and you can see it is that stainless steel look on there Check out the wheels man. That is crazy. This looks straight out of a sci-fi movie right here but it is so dope gotta check it out man i'm gonna let you check out the trunk real quick hopefully i don't get copyrighted but you guys can check it out it is roomy all the way through let me spin around and show you from the back side you guys see it is lit up on the inside of the truck i'm actually liking that now you can really see how it looks here but check it out guys hopefully that music is not too loud but you can definitely see it from the front side right there with the stainless steel and this is badass you know i'm about to get inside definitely about to show you guys the first look at the truck how do you even open the door man how do you open the door uh-huh you just touch it so you all right okay okay definitely show me again one more time what was it uh-huh it actually makes a silhouette of a cyber truck okay all right Ah, that's really cool guys right there that is awesome so he was telling me about a silhouette on there so it looks like a cyber truck right there now we're about to jump inside and you guys it Okay. All right. All right. All right. So we're gonna jump inside the cyber truck real quick, guys. This is the first look. This is the content that you cannot get anywhere else right here. First look inside at the cyber truck, and he is gonna show me a couple cool things really quick. Show me something cool. So I'm gonna close this door. When All right. The doors close. You're gonna give a good tap on the glass. All right. You can see you break the window just like Elon did. All right. So I don't know if you remember that. I think I do. I remember. Same with the rear window. All right. Try it again. 
throw both of them. That's so, dope right there. The windows up, little Easter eggs. All right, little cool yeah. Easter eggs in the truck. But, man, look at the dash right here and the steering wheel. Man, I'm telling you right now, I am trying to get one of these. But this is the first look at the Cyber Truck. And let me go show you guys the back. It is all leathered out all the way through and through. This is the car of the year right here. I thought that the Cadillac was doing it, but you guys see the Cyber Truck is really doing it up big time right here. I'm about to jump in a Tesla and test drive it, but this is the first look at the Cyber Truck right here, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a like, hit that subscription button, guys. Don't forget, guys, hit that notification bell so you can get the video as soon as it drops all day long but again this is the cyber truck right here dope 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 in the house either you love it or you hate it i love it looks really cool and modern sophisticated loving this truck right here about to drive a quick tesla real quick and test drive one of these always wanted to drive one it's not going to be the cyber truck but it's going to be one of the other models so check it out all right man i am outside of the car show i'm about to test drive the model x right here you guys see it in the black right here looking really really crisp and clean with the fold doors at the top about to test drive the model x with the flip doors hold on hit it hit it for him dog flip it down for him real quick let him see the doors flip down all right you guys see the doors flipping down right there looking crazy right there i'm loving it yes sir i'm with my man about to just drive the model x tesla man we about to jump it off let me put my seatbelt on and we about to get it on and popping man guys if you like the content don't forget to like share and subscribe about the rock with my guy from tesla we about to test this out real quick all right be right back let's get money And we about to launch this thing right quick. We got it all set up and ready to go. Of course, we got some people walking in front of the car, but we about to get this thing moving. All right, what we do now, let's roll. Let off the brake, that's it. All right, let off the brake. That's it. Let's go, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Okay, this thing got a little you bit You let off of it. I know, man. <laughs> Shit, this motherfucker got a little bit of launch in it, all right? It's dope though, all right? All right. It's kind of slick though. All right, so that's how you, so that's like a, a little bit of a launch where you, um, it do like, zero to 100 in 2.3 seconds. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, man, fellas, I hit that gas and hold that, um, break down at the same time and then I let it go and it just took off and launched. That's crazy right there. It's my first time ever driving a Tesla, so, you know, I had to get in here and get it done. Guys, I appreciate you coming with me, man. I hope you are enjoying the auto show. We about to rock being here, here and get a couple more things and we gonna be out of here. Let's make another pit stop and you guys see the Ford Raptor Bronco right here looking so crispy. I'm loving it. It seemed like orange is the theme of this year. A lot of orange cars in the show, but this is really beefy. I'm loving the way it looks. I'm loving the big stands on it, the big wheel wells on there, and of course those big aggressive tires right there. Definitely the Raptors. Let me know if it's a yay or a nay on the Raptor Bronco. I just left the Teslas and I'm gonna come to another car right here as you see this is gonna definitely be the car of the year in my opinion this is the Cadillac Escalade IQ it is the electric version they have come into the new millennium it is gonna boast 450 miles to a charge we're gonna see if they can hold to that but you can see they really did it up in the back here in the rear with that sleek modern design i am loving the light package that they went with guys this is a totally modern out cadillac you can see they kept that beefy front end. Now, check out these shadow lights right there and the way they give a 3D effect as well as the light bars on the side. Now, I like the accent lights under the bottom. They really make the grill pop with that Cadillac symbol as well. Now, last year, Cadillac was nowhere to be seen. This year, they've came back with a vengeance and you guys can see the sleek modern style. So just sit back, check it out. The new design right here kind of reminds me of a Rolls Royce Cullinan and a Range Range Rover all together fusioned out. Guys, this is a super modern design and I am loving the way they shortened the front end and enlarged the backside really brought the car out and brought it into the new millennium. That is why I think Cadillac is definitely gonna be one of the contenders for car of the year. I hope you are liking the content. If you are, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys can see when I drop the next video and stay up to date.
All right, so it wouldn't be right if I didn't rock the Range Rover Velar. This is currently my favorite car out there. So guys, if I had the chips, I would definitely rock the Range Rover Velar. It's a sleek, modern design as you see right there. And then guys, you can see inside the interior is flawless. This is one of those cars that make you feel like you have made it. You should already feel like you have made it and no material object should, but this is something that would definitely give you a lot of confidence when you are driving down the street. Get your checkbooks out because we are about to check out Millionaire's Row and some expensive cars. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. The Lambo, the monster right here. This is the Lamborghini Urus. One of my top five cars right here. A lot of horsepower, a huge stance with a sleek modern look. This car is badass. Yes, sir, and this looks just like money right here in that money green right there. Loving that. One thing I like about the Bentley is the wheels, and I'm gonna let you guys check that out real quick. But those wheels are on point, and you see the all-white interior in there with the drop top looking crazy. And let me spin to the front and let you guys check out that mean Bentley grill. This just smells like money. Let's switch it up and let's go with the Bentley with the hard top in the yellow with the mean aggressive black wheels on there. I am loving that. Loving the B on the wheel, how it brings out that wheel in the white up against the black and that yellow right there. That is a mean aggressive stance, man. I am loving this one. So let me know guys in the comments below, would you take the drop top Bentley right there in the money green or would you take the hard top in the yellow? Loving that. Now you guys can see the all blacked out grill here or the chrome one over there. Man, I think I might have to rock the all blacked out grill. Man, that is dope. But let me know what you guys think in the, low, in the comments below, which Bentley would it be? So here is the Ashton Martin right here in that candy red with the black and red stitched leather inside with the 22 inch aggressive wheels looking so amazing under the lights right here. This is one of the most underrated luxury vehicles out there, the Ashton Martin. This is a bad ride right here. I am loving it. This is that Ashton Martin in the purple and black with the black and white stitched leather in there. Man, this thing is doing it. But guys, I don't know if you noticed, but that hood, that lip on the front, that spoiler is all carbon fiber. This thing is class all the way out. If you are a huge fan of carbon fiber and luxury vehicles, this is the one for you. Yes, sir, and gotta give love to the McLaren. It is dipped all the way in carbon fiber all the way out with the folding doors. And check out the interior in there. Let me know, do you guys even know how to drive this thing? I don't think I do, man. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But the McLaren is off the chain. show mad love to that Maserati in the all white with the red stitching leather inside and that is beautiful. Time to go muscle car time you know guys i love the muscle cars this is a 1968 pontiac le mans sport right here in that red it's got the big block engine in there with all that chrome on the front end all original man it is definitely going down you know i am a huge muscle car guy and he has got the interior looking crazy Got a 1968 Ford Torino GT Fastback right here in that blue, and that is looking crazy. My guy got this thing looking like it just came off the showroom in 1968. Check out the leather inside, and they are doing it. You could not go wrong with the old school cars like this, but my guy has got it going down. Let's see what's under the hood, and let me let you guys check it out. 1968 
Buick Electra 225 Custom looking straight like it is out of a 1970s movie. I can see Shaft getting out of this car with the guns blazing. <laughs> Sir got a 57 Jaguar right here. Man, that MC Roadster. This is looking like James Bond all day long, guys. Let me know if you can see Roger Moore getting in and out of this and fighting with the spies from other countries. But I'm loving that look. These are some cool cars from back in the day. Again, 1957 Jaguar. Sir, man, this is mean right here. This is that 1970 Olds 442 with that big block engine in there. This was a mean car back in its day. You guys see it's got the pinstripes on there with the black and gold under the bottom with that original interior inside. This was a bad boy back in his day. Yes, it was. What was the cost on that? $5,000 for that in 1970. Man, we didn't came a long way from them days, but for $5,000, guys, you could have got you a hot ride right here with the big block engine in it and bent the man. And you see it even got the spoiler on the back. Absolutely badass. It is about time to make that move. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. 